Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. File Finder, and welcome to your Butterscatcher Com tutorial on what is RAM. Well, yes, this is a RAM, but that's not what we're talking about. In computers, RAM stands for Random Access Memory, and RAM is what your programs run on. Right now, my browser is utilizing RAM in order to run. If you look at your Task Manager in Windows, under Processes, you see here, memory here's how much ram each program is using there was a saying in the early 80s in computers attributed to anonymous that said you can never have too much ram or too much disk space a common misconception among newer computer users in particular is that memory is referring to disk space memory is actually referring to ram and the reason it's called random access memory is because information that's in RAM can be snagged out no matter where it's at without having to be in any kind of order. Whereas on a hard drive, for example, the information is laid out very precisely and there is a head that goes back and forth and seeks the information you look for. When something's in RAM, RAM is very, very fast, which is another reason why some people create a RAM drive to store important files in because they can get faster access to them. So RAM is random access memory. Here are some RAM chips. See right now you can get a gigabyte for about $42. That's a pretty good price. And it is true that you can never have too much RAM. Personal opinion is that when purchasing a computer, it's better to have more RAM and a slower processor than to have the reverse. So that's RAM. RAM in your computer is called volatile RAM because when you turn off the computer, everything in RAM is gone. There are other types of RAM and also ROM, which is read-only memory, that's called flash memory, and you find that in things like SD cards and so on. So that's random access memory, RAM, and that's all there is to it.